Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at the game played by Samuel Lloyd and Charles Caldwell Moore. This was a casual game and was played in 1853. For those who do not know who is Samuel Lloyd, Samuel Lloyd is widely acknowledged as one of America's greatest puzzle writers and popularizers, often mentioned as the greatest. Samuel Lloyd started with e4, e5 by black and of course we see f4, king's gambit. During the Romantic era of chess, probably this was the most popular chess opening. E takes f4, king's gambit accepted. Now, usually in this position, white is playing bishop c4 or knight f3, but we see a very bad move, d4. d5 by black. Of course, black could have easily gained initiative by playing queen h4 check. And after king e2, this is a very unpleasant position for white. But instead, after d4, we see d5 by black, bishop d3. Again, it's not too late to play queen h4 check. Knight f6 by black, bishop takes f4, c5. Of course, I can't understand why not d takes e4, which is a very obvious and a crushing move. Anyways, we see c5, bishop g5, pinning the knight, d takes e4. The threat was e5, d takes e4, bishop takes e4, c takes d4, bishop takes f6, queen takes f6, knight f3, bishop c5, we see castling by both sides, knight d2, d3 check, king h1, d takes c2, here comes a little tactics by Samuel Lloyd, bishop takes h7 check, king takes h7, queen takes c2 check, forking the king and the bishop, queen g6, queen takes c5, knight a6, queen b5, knight c7, queen c4, queen b6, knight h4, and a bad move by black a5. Black is going to bring into the game this rook by playing rook a6. But of course playing bishop e6 is stronger, you are developing your bishop with a tempo and also protecting the pawn on f7. After a5 we see knight df3, of course Samuel Lloyd could have easily captured on f7, but we see knight f3 in the game, rook a6, knight e5, putting more pressure on f7, f6, rook f3, queen takes b2, rook e1, f5, rook h3, f4. So far we have seen a very bad move by both sides, but in this position Samuel Lloyd played just a brilliant move and black resigned. Actually the reason of showing this game was only this move. Can you find white's next move? Ready? There is a checkmate in 3. Now look, if you play knight g6 check at once, then your rook on h3 is hanging. Or if you play knight f5 check, then black can cover his king by playing rook h6. That's why in this position Samuel Lloyd played an absolutely fantastic queen e6 move and black resigned. Now look, if bishop takes e6, then the bishop is blocking the 6th rank. And white can play knight f5 check if king g8, then knight e7 checkmate. Or after queen e6, if rook takes e6, now in this case the rook is blocking the bishop's diagonal and white has this knight f6 check, king g8 and rook a8 checkmate. What a fantastic move by Samuel Lloyd. Your comments and questions please and thanks for watching. Good luck.